interesting poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Oak Show. everybody hey what's up yep and i'm gonna welcome you by turning on your microphone too yeah you gotta you gotta do that make sure you're talking to there kelly it's very important hey speed well we're in calgary how about that how you feeling welcome you had a quite a quite an experience coming in here last <laughs> night i don't know what's going on lately with my travel but it's getting painful is it I mean, you know, I, I have to deal with people taking their socks off on the airlines and, you know, dumb stuff like that. But I've never been blocked by a house on the interstate. Well, we don't call them interstates. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Interstates down down, down there. So. Trails. But what are they? You had, you had a house blocking your limo ride to the hotel. I did. Yeah. And I, I, that was just odd. We hit this huge line and we finally get to the ramp that we need to turn off on to come over here. And there's this house lodged in the middle of the road no one could get around the house Listen, it's canada you can expect anything and anything to happen at any time i live in vegas and i haven't gotten blocked by a house <laughs> but it was a that was a something else last night uh, hey well i want to thank uh, everybody for joining us today we of course are live here canadian poker tour summer showdown very honored to be up here kelly thank you for joining us kelly kellner the the man behind this amazing tour well, we, uh, you know, we built a great series, and uh, I'll tell you something. We've been hitting the numbers out of the park uh, this uh, this week. It's been uh, it's been absolutely outstanding. Players are having a great time, and we got guys from all over the country here, and uh, uh, we're really uh, really excited. We're right in the middle of the high roller event here right now, a PLO tonight, and then a big weekend coming up with the main event. Absolutely, and I I must have been a jinx to Mike Leah. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. Mike Mike busted the high roller. And Mike was doing great until you got here. <sighs> He, uh, he came fourth in the 550 mega stack. We had a, had a huge turnout for that. We had 192 players. Mm -hmm. uh, he came fourth, final table bat, and uh, got himself uh, took over the player of the uh, player of the year uh, rankings here. We just got updates from uh, GPI. If you want to check out where you're at uh, in the Canadian Poker, Poker Tour standings across the country, uh, go to our website CanadianPokerTour.tv. We've got it embedded right in the site. Mike Leah, 442 points, uh, took over from. Uh, uh, Matt Laposi, who uh, cashed twice, uh, took on one of the events at Fallsview earlier this year. Uh, lots of movements in the top 22. There's, uh, you know, there's so many points up for grabs in these big fields, in these big series. So, uh, but Mike is the uh, Mike's the leader now for uh, for a bit, but uh, some guys hot on his tail. Yeah, and Michael wins. Think so. Mike gets on top, he wins. Yeah, yeah, no, he's uh, he's now, but he. Uh, Everybody yeah, else is going. He was he was short going into today into day two today and. Uh, uh, I think he had 18,000 to start, and he was happy with the way he played. So, uh, But his mom's in town, so he's going to go be a good son and spend some time with his mom. But, so you really can't beat that. Your mom's in town, too. My mom is always in town. My mom actually, I believe, is trying to hit the jackpot on the uh, the double super wild. And, you know, nice. we've, been, we've been chasing that jackpot since the April spring showdown series. It's up to, like, 52 grand. And uh, I think we've put most of that 52 in there. Well, that ought to tell you something. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're just trying to win your money back at this point. Yeah, exactly. That's rough. That's not that's not do good to do on a okay, slot machine. Let's go to the craps table later. Okay. Okay. We got oh. some good craps players in town. Our buddy uh, John Angelakis uh, from Vancouver is in. He's a craps master. Oh yeah. He just cracked the top ten on the CPT uh, listings as well too. We got some great characters coming on over the next couple of days here. So everybody better tune in for some uh, some serious Canadian entertainment. So. And it's always fun up here. Of course, uh, you know my first time in Calgary. I'm very excited to be here. It's, we're gonna have a an awesome time. We're gonna be of course uh, show schedule what we're gonna be doing this weekend. Uh, we're going to be back on tonight at six Mountain Time. Yes. So I'm 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 gonna I'm it's only one hour, but for some reason we got a lot of a I'm lot embedded. Of math, a lot of adjustments to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try not to screw it up too bad. I'm gonna be back six Mountain Time, so it'll be five Pacific, eight Eastern, depending on where you're listening. Of course, to the, all those crazies around the world listening too. I can't help yeah. you out. No, exactly. I'm, I'm not doing all the time zones. You're going to have to figure some of those out yourselves. <laughs> uh, and then uh, tomorrow we'll be back kind of like our World Series schedule where we did the, the 1 o'clock and 6.30 shows. Yep. So, uh, But that will be mountain time, not Pacific time. So adjust your clocks accordingly. You know what everybody should do is so just get on their computers? Just stay on. Just change the time. Okay, yeah. If you're not you in the mountain zone, just change it because that's going to make it so much easier for you. I think you should have Mark Hoke time. And then that's the oh. universal constant. So that then really screw Eastern or, you know, 
European, whatever. You've got Marco time, and you live on your schedule. You can lead us all. Do you really think everybody would go for that? What's I that? think it would be fun. I mean... Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to consult with Lane Anderson from Poker News Canada, who oh, is the there you guru go. on anything important to do with life. He has insight beyond anything you and I can come up with. We're going to have Lane on here a little bit, and, uh, and uh, we'll see that. But I love that. I propose Mark Hoke time. Is that like hammer time? Oh, it's much better. Oh, it's so many levels. I don't have to wear the pants. What's that? I don't have to You're wear the, the parachute to wear, pants. You're not allowed to wear I'm not allowed to. That's even better. Thank you. There you go. You're probably saving me from myself on that. There you go. All right. Well, let's okay, take so it. That's our first brilliant idea. We should, we should have a little chart for the next couple of days. How many great <laughs> ideas that we can come up with. You betcha. Well, hey, uh, before we uh, get into what's been going on here on the tour, I want to thank a bunch of our sponsors uh, for the show coming us up here. I'm sure you got a ton of them you'll probably want to mention as we go through, too. But I do have to say hi to all mine real quick. Uh, of course, our good friends at Blind Squirrel Apparel. Make sure you guys go to blindsquirrelapparel.com. You get 20% off with the code HOKE. It's all for the gambler in you, so check them out at blindsquirrelapparel.com. Uh, we also have our good friends at Deej Poker. We got some Deej stuff right here. Look at that. You sold a hat a few minutes ago. Got a hat out of here? You betcha. Logan Dung came bought a hat. He put a, uh, what, what happened in that hat? We got, we'll get him on here and talk about that. Oh, that was pretty sick. Guy, uh, that guy was sick. Guy flopped a royal flush. He had ace 10. And uh, we just instant mucked. And there was a bad beat got hit twice last week, so there's no money in it. And wow. so uh, Logan came and bought the guy a hat to. Uh, well, that was pretty sweet of him. So, so uh, yeah, right. make sure you guys go to deegpoker.com for the degenerate. You don't have to be a degenerate, but you can no, kind of pretend should, to be I, one. I think, I think we should take people to the next level of degenerate behavior. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Fully apparel done. Yeah, so make sure you say hi to the boys at deegpoker.com. Uh, of course, you also have our friends at Double Digit Covers. I know you used to like to bet sports a little bit, I, right? Uh, right? I've, I've, I've had some action over the years, uh -huh. and uh, I was just saying, you know, I'm just not, not, not even following baseball very much anymore because... Uh, Oh, baseball is bad. I'm going crazy right now, by the way, because the trade deadline is going on. I'm, oh, I'm so close to bagging poker <laughs> and just talking about what's going on in baseball. Yeah. Uh, but make sure you guys go to DoubleDigitCovers.com. Um, you can get a free pick today. Let's, a free uh, winner, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah, Let's, you should call them. Well, I'm, I think I might. I think yeah, I might. 8 5 yeah, eight, anything. Jeez, okay. they'll they'll dig it up for you, whatever you want. Okay. 855-489-2700, 855-489-2700. Get your free pick and uh, tell them Mark Hoke Show sent you. Our good friends at Blue Rail, our website provider, make sure you guys go to bluerail.net and uh, check out uh, all the great work by Bob and the team. Or you can give him a call at 522-820-5128. It's 522-820-5128. He'll work with anybody around the world, even Canada. Really? Yeah. He's got it covered. One of the greatest countries in the world. So I've heard. Yeah. I believe that. We're good people. Up here. I love Canada. Uh, I, I love. We Canadians. love you, Marco. Jesus said that country is just embracing you. Yeah. Yeah. Embracing yeah they're throwing. People they're throwing moving. houses they're in front of my destinations to keep me their, away. They're moving their houses closer <laughs> to be close to you. And I think that's what's happening. That's awesome. Uh, our good friend Dutch Boyd's got that brand new book, Poker Tilt. And yeah. if you haven't read it, you you would love that book. It's uh, is amazing. there a lot of pictures in it? No. A lot of pictures and books. There's, I think there's the last book I read was Dennis the Menace, the one where Gina got introduced up the street. Oh. I always liked that Gina. Ever since then, I got a little thing for Italians. You, you might have to step up your reading game just a little bit. Yeah. But make sure you guys go to PokerTilt.com, uh, or you can pick it up on Amazon today. I'm telling you, it's one of the best poker reads you're going to have, so make sure you check that out at uh, PokerTilt.com. All right, that'll that that'll cover everybody that we've got for the trip. That's a good start. So there we go. So we've got to take, got to take care of the business to pay the bills, right? Absolutely. You know who we're happy to have on board? Ivy League. Oh, Phil yeah. Ivy and Ivy League uh, have come on to sponsor the, uh, uh, the CPP Summer Showdown. Yep. And uh, it's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been great. We've given away a couple of, uh, couple of memberships. Uh, we had a couple of winners. Connor O'Hara and uh, Jennifer Carson won uh, some free master subscriptions. Uh, nice. A couple, uh, couple of kids that, uh, well, not kids, but they're, <laughs> uh, let me tell you something, they've been playing cashing consistently and uh, they've been over the last couple of weeks on watching the videos and taking their games. Connor, we're going to have him on here uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, he's been uh, playing really well, but uh, to have Ivy League uh, as a as a partner and sponsor, we're uh, we're really hoping to give Canadians the opportunity to you know fix some leaks in their game, take their game to the next level. You know we didn't do so well at the World Series this year. No, so you, as, you got them all last year. Yeah, well I know, but we, we look. I had know. Justin Oliver's back. You guys all know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have Justin's back. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's right. Caleb McNeil. Yeah, some great guys. Yeah, Dan Adima, he's just sitting right over here. Yep. Uh, they're just on a break now, uh, so. 
you know, we got uh, we got some talent up here. But we want to, you know, uh, partner uh, by partnering with Ivy League, give Canadians the opportunity to uh, to come in, and uh, hopefully next year we're going to go for the bracelets. Kind of like that uh, uh, own the podium that the Canadian Olympic team had uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, and, uh, it crushed it. So that's uh, I don't know. That's what we're thinking. You know, get Phil to throw a little bit of uh, guidance out to our. Uh, Canadian base. There you go. And of course, uh, you know, a lot of results going up on GPI, the Global Poker Index, good yes. friends of our show as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, they've been, uh, you know, it's great to get the uh, to get them embedded and uh, quick, you know, quick up updates and turnarounds. And so uh, you can follow uh, the player of the series if you follow us on uh, Facebook at uh, our uh, Canadian Poker Tour page. Uh, we've got the link to the player of the series update. And uh, we're offering a player of the series. We're putting up a uh, cruise, Royal Caribbean cruise for two. It's a poker cruise. They do a big uh, Royal Caribbean. Are you going to dance? I am dancing. Are you a cruise dancer? You only dance on cruise ships? No, but uh, it's you know, it's a fun thing to do. Okay, I like it. Uh, we're eat a lot have of food. Dancing here. Some of these some of these CPT late night parties. Once we get up oh at Blaze Bar, now we, we're in Blaze Bar in the showroom. We have the poker room where we've got about 17 tables in there. We have another t dozen tables in the room that we're in here. But that bar sitting within eye shot of us, right behind you. <sighs> oh my! I, I tell you, a, you said bar. 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 There you go. But Gavin's not here. Gavin's not here. Uh, Gavin's in Cambodia. Yeah, he's coming back today. I think. Is he? We should, uh, let's try and get him to uh, have a little stop over here on the way home. I think Gavin's going to be a little busy. Yeah. I, for for personal reasons. Because I, well, but... I wanted to ask him. I was like, Gavin, you got to come over. But I, he's like, yeah, I got some stuff I got to do when I get home. I'm like, eh. Do you not think that we should just guide him? Because we, we both well, are we very could. good friends. He's very good friends of us both. We, yeah. should, we could guide him and embrace him and, and, and then send him. Just some bury poker. him in some poker. Yeah. Well, that that works. Yeah. So whatever. He's all right. Yeah. He's okay. <laughs> Anyways, player of the series, uh, Poker Super Cruise for two for uh, uh, with Royal Caribbean, as well as a one-year Masters online training package from Ivy League. So uh, uh, we got a real close race here right now. Uh, we're still waiting for the uh, Event 5 results. Shane Brotherwood, been a big friend of the, great friend of the Canadian Poker Tour for, geez, 10, 12 years now. And uh, he shipped the Win the Button event last night. Uh, it's going to give him some points. I don't think he's going to take over. We've got uh, Dusty Spetta is uh, in first place, who won the uh, the big first event, 407, 27 players. Then he uh, came seven, final table the uh, the turbo event as well, I believe. So, yeah, and that's ship the button event, by the way. Win the button. That one or win the button. That is uh, everybody pretty button. unique. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can't say I've seen one in the United. I'm sure there's probably oh, been yeah, one no, somewhere, been, been but I around, so. but that that's a pretty cool event. I mean, tell everybody a little bit about that. Well, basically, every time you win the pot, you are the button. So uh, you know, just a little different strategy and a little different uh, dynamic to the game. Uh, I went around, talked to the players yesterday, and everybody really enjoyed it. It was uh, you know just something unique and something different. But what's interesting is Shane Brotherwood, who shipped the event last night, also won the win the button the event at Playground. Wow. A few months ago. Sneaky. Yeah. Shane's good. He's a beast. Is it more important to win the button? I mean, you want to win the hands, obviously, but if you're not going to be the hand winner, you know, you don't mind if the you know the guy oh, for sure, yeah. to your left is the yeah. one that's winning the button. Exactly. No, uh, uh, one of the girls was playing Peggy. She was uh, sitting there, and the guy, uh, she, she ended up, I think, seven or eight hands in her row being in the, uh, in the big blind. Oh. Shoot her stack up. So, oh. God, I think she fired a few bullets, so we appreciate that. But. That's rough. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, you got to, I mean, in a situation like that, I mean, you're going to get to a point where the guys on the wrong side of the table keep firing oh, and winning. Absolutely. You, you know, you've got to take a stand because either, you know, your chip's going to get whittled down yeah. or it's just, you know, it's just a disaster playing out of position the whole time. So you kind of have to take some chances. But there's a whole new series of reasons to go totally on tilt now. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Only in Canada. The tilt, retilt. I like it. <laughs> that, that is awesome. Yeah, so all sorts of great events uh, already concluded. And, of course, uh, you guys cracked your, crushed your guarantee on the first event. Yeah. Well, we, uh, you know, I built uh, built a few events over the last few years. And we're trying, we, we were the first ones to really try and step up some guarantees here, especially in Western Canada. So um, we, uh, we did these uh, two starting day $330 buy-ins uh, with a 50K guarantee. And, uh, boy, the players showed up. Uh, we really appreciated everybody's support and uh, you know because there isn't a lot of margins in this industry and when you're taking a risk on those guarantees it's pretty tough to uh, you know if you don't hit one so what uh, uh, they've been great so we stepped it up then we stepped up to 60,000 uh, when we did uh, the uh, uh, the winter uh, the winter event in January and uh, this time stepped up again to 75k but uh, we had 427 players wow. uh, over two days two starting days which is uh, one of the biggest fields we've seen in Alberta Ever. Wow, it's so, awesome. Yeah, no, so we're very, very, uh, very pleased with that. Uh, what's looking huge, this main event this weekend, I tell you something, we, uh, uh, in our, in our uh, 
uh, spring showdown, we had uh, we put up a 100k guarantee, uh, which we knew we were gonna we were gonna crush. We got 270 players in the main, and uh, expecting to again crush that this time, uh, well into the 300s. So uh, so we'll see. Lots of guys firing multiple bullets. That helps too. Get down here, guys. Of course, uh, anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. If you you know you can be in Florida and come on up here. For sure. Well, we got a great partnership with WestJet Airlines, or one of Canada's national airline partners. Uh, if you go to our website, CanadianPokerTour.tv, all the information's up there on the event page. Uh, you can get a 10% uh, discount on airfare. You've got to call in. You can't use that code online. It's a special call in to the group line for 10% off of your airfare to Calgary. Now, the nice thing about WestJet, they've really grown. They're a great partner with us. But you can fly in from Vegas, from LA, from Seattle, from uh, uh, New York. Tons of different destinations, and you know, from especially in the West here, it's only how, was, how long was your flight last night? Two mm. and a half hours? Yeah, 215, something like that. Yeah, so uh, you know, to come up here for the weekend, uh, and you come up here, you've got the F tops this weekend, so you can come up. We've got the Wi Fi all set up in the poker room here. So come up, play a great main event, hell of a structure, and uh, and play the F tops and uh, and uh, and come and party with us. It sounds like a great time. Yeah. Uh, get get here. Yes, we're at the Gray Eagle Resort and Casino live here. I'm Mark Hoke, and of course, Kelly Kellner. I mean, but it's kind of your house at this point. I'm just kind of sitting in it. That's okay. Welcome. My house is your house. There we go. Yeah, so join us. And, uh, hey, and I want to throw a little thank you out to WestJet, by the way, mm-hmm. real quick, because they put me in their priority plus seating oh, nice. last night. Very good. So I got the extra, you know, five or four or five inches of leg room, plus nobody sitting next to me. Uh, you, you, can never, oh. you can never beat an extra four or five inches. Oh, that was incredible. I was, I was very happy about that last night. So thank you, WestJet. God bless they you. just handed that to me too. Oh, that's fantastic. I just walked well, up and, and listen, we called Andrew and said, "Listen, do you know who this guy is?" You know, I wonder. I wonder if they knew I do a radio show. Oh, I think they must have. They somebody somebody I got win. I think you're being tracked. Well, it this was kind of strange. Yeah, that that whole thing was new, strange. The, the Mark Hoke time thing. They think that uh, there's something big is coming down the pipe with, uh, with that. So, uh, you know, yeah. So, yeah, that was awesome. Dude, start stamping. He's stamping priority all over my boarding <laughs> pass like it was going out of style and writing all over it i'm like is everything okay <laughs> <laughs> did you keep it the boarding pass yeah i've got it there yeah you, go. you got proof of your greatness i do <laughs> yeah i got a lucky upgrade that's that's my greatness hey uh of course uh, let's recap a little bit about uh what's been going on here at this uh, cpt summer showdown here at gray eagle uh of course uh, that first event 330 buy-in crushes the guarantee and I'm trying to, is Dustin Kurt Spetta? Dusty Spetta. Dusty Spetta is yeah. your winner on that one, picks up $28,000. Yeah. Dusty, uh, Dusty's been a great uh, uh, great player. He uh, consistently cashes. He's, he just, his game's crazy. He just, uh, he always gets a ton of chips. And uh, so uh, he had, uh, with 15 players left, he had 30% of the chips. Oh, wow. Left. He had mountains in front of him. I think if I actually posted a couple pictures up on Facebook of him, uh, Dusty's been a great friend. Uh, he came down. We did a big uh, CPT Player of the Year series a few years ago, uh, which we televised, and he was one of the players that came down to uh, the Dominican, down to Puerto Plata, to Ocean World, and uh, had a good time down there with us. And, uh, so we've got a good, a very, very strong core group of players that have been consistently cashing in our events, and, and I couldn't, couldn't have been happier that, uh, that Dusty shipped that event. So. There you go. So Dusty taking that down. Uh, beats Stephanie Bisson, if I'm correct there. Stephen. Yep. Uh, Stefan, I'm yep. sorry. Yep. Ah, I'm sorry. There's no I there. I apologize. So sorry, sorry, Stefan. My bad. Uh, I'm getting, I'm meeting some, got some new names up here, so you're going to have to bear with me. Plus, reading is fundamental, yes. as the kids like to say. Uh, Jimmy Gill in third, Carson Lubbock in fourth, and David Yazdepski. Depski, did I get that right? I think that's, I did. That's a good Canadian name right there. Thank you. From Saskatoon. Yes. Finishing, right. finishing in fifth place on that one. Uh, our, uh, our friend uh, Alex B., Alex Balicki from Vancouver, popular, uh, popular in the poker world, great online player, uh, solidly, solidly shipped 43rd place. We are looking for big things from him. He, you know, oh. Bin cash, and then he bubbled the next one. We're going to have Alex B. on here, too. This okay. A, a, lot of, uh, a lot of fun stuff to talk about. But, uh, he's doing really well on, uh, online right now. So. Awesome. God, you know, you guys, you talk about doing well online, and you're breaking a lot of people's hearts in the United States. You know that, right? But just come up here. Yeah, just play. come up. Come up and play. Come up. This is land. You know oh, it is. Nice it is outside. I've like been one of our hottest days. Is, but it's like 85 degrees. And we can, uh, you know, none of this 115. <laughs> one, 115 in Vegas last week. Oh, man. 115. Uh, the event two, the ladies' event, and uh, that one goes to T Win. Yeah. 
Yes. Uh, T picking up uh, $6,000 for that one. Yeah, that was a great little event. And, uh, uh, but the nice thing about her, she's got, she came in with her girlfriend from Toronto, and uh, she'd cashed twice at the Falls View Poker Classic. And uh, so she had some great CPT points to start with. Now she's moved up to fourth place overall. Uh, she's playing, uh, I got ice shot of her here right now. She's playing in the high roller. And uh, great to see her, uh, her uh, you know, ship that event and come up. And uh, uh, we're going to have her, uh, have her uh, come on. You guys are going to absolutely love this girl. She's fantastic. She's grace, elegant, charm, poised. But she's just, she's just a beast on the table. She's, she's fantastic. One of the greatest girls ever. Great, one of the greatest girls ever. Wow, that is a statement. Way to meet her. This a yeah. That's a long time of ever. I know, I know. ever big. All right, I'm okay. I'm boy that uh, I'm gonna have to ask her about that yeah. one. Uh, Arena Roman finishing second in that one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, nice ladies event going on up here. Uh, we we'll go to event number three. Uh, we have the uh, two hundred fifty dollar buy in on that one, and uh, that one goes to Dustin Santani out of Vancouver. He picks up seven thousand dollars on that event. Yeah, we see Dustin uh, Dusty Spetta came ninth in that as well. So he cashed uh, cashed two times. That puts him in the lead for the player of the series uh, right now. But he's only leading by a couple of points uh, before the event five results go in there. So we're waiting. Just uh, those updates should be coming in from GPI pretty soon. Pretty soon. So uh, uh, that was a good event. That was a turbo. Turbo. Event, yep. But uh, you know, not really a turbo as such. It was still ten thousand chips, twenty minute levels played out. Uh, uh, played out till about midnight, so uh, you know there's great structures in here. The, the one thing that uh, we uh, we put a lot of time and a lot of effort in is that. Uh, and you talk to anybody, I haven't had one complaint about structure here. The guys love it, and um, that's uh, it's something that you can be assured when you come to one of our events. The CPD event is going to have a great structure, great format, and uh, uh, it's something we pride ourselves on. There you go. So that that is the turbo, mega stack, event number four. And uh, we'll slide up here real quick. And My friend Amir, uh, no, uh, he didn't want any pictures taken. He mm -hmm. was a uh, uh, pretty quiet guy. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, he's a you know, small cash game player, but uh, just ran uh, really great into a tough field, a tough final table. We had uh, uh, Diane Nguyen, we had uh, Mike Lee at the final table. We had uh, uh, just, a, just a tremendous crew. So it, uh, it, was, uh, it was a great job by Amir. So congratulations to him. He took home the trophy. We got some great, great trophies. They're over our shoulders here for all the events. And, they are uh, dead sexy. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, it's nice to have, have a little something on the mat. So. Yeah, and of course, uh, you know, once again, Mike Lee finishing fourth on that, yeah. and uh, Ryan Schoenbart. Ryan the, I mean, he you know he had a great World Series too. Tremendous. Yeah, he made the final table. I forget which event it was, uh, uh, but uh, he and uh, actually Chris Semesco as well too also made a final table at the World Series. They're uh, they're both in the uh, in the high roller event. And uh, you know we're getting uh, we're getting some uh, some top uh, top players, top, top Canadian players in these groups, and that's you know it's it's a tough tough group of guys at this high roller event. You look around this room, it's uh, I think a little out of your mind. Yeah, there's some uh, you know Daniel Dima over here just had Mike Leah bust out. I mean you know those are you know more familiar to players around the world, but yeah, this is a great group that's uh, shooting it out right now. Um, we also had by the way event number five, just uh, uh, that one finished up. We mentioned that uh, Shane Brotherwood. Uh, taking that one down for a little over ten thousand dollars, so yeah. that's all Canadian, by the way. Yeah, Canadian dollars, which uh, it's getting closer again here now. It's yeah. rising around. U.S. has got a little plus EV right now, about six, eight percent, something like that. Another reason to come up. Yeah. Come up from America, spend some of those dollars up here. Plus, if you win up here, yeah. you don't pay taxes. No, no. That is the big score. Yeah, it's it's tremendous, and that's why we encourage. You know, we encourage everybody to come up and uh, and uh, take advantage of all the great reasons to come to Canada and play. And, and the other thing is, you can play in Alberta when you're 18 years old. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get these internet kids in here even sooner. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no, we're trying. Thank to. you. Yeah, no problem. Just train them to beat us when they're you know when they walk up to the casino when we're 21. Exactly. Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, high roller event, of course, going on right now. Uh, chip counts update. Of course, you can uh, view those on CanadianPokerTour.tv, or if you know if you just want to slum it a little bit and go to Poker News, you know, Poker, Poker News, News Canada. Poker News Canada. Let me tell you something. They're Lane, awesome. Lane Anderson and Poker News Canada are the bomb. He's sitting right beside us. We're going to have Lane, uh, Lane on here in a couple minutes. Give us some updates. Uh, there's some exciting things. He's going to come in and uh, give us quick updates on uh, on the high roller event when things are happening and. Uh, so uh, we'll get the latest and greatest news from him. Uh, so we encourage everybody to follow Poker News Canada as well on uh, uh, Twitter and on Facebook, as well as our uh, Twitter at CPT Online. Always lots of great information about what's going on in Canadian poker. Yeah, and of course the, the Poker News site is ca.pokernews.com. Yes. 
Like Got to put the, put the little, put that little Canada thing. Just Absolutely. think Canadian Bold. poker news. Can, yeah, Bold. you betcha. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna sing the anthem before you go. Uh, I don't know all of it, really? but I can. Yeah, you, know, you watch enough hockey that, that you, you've got to watch yeah. and, and some baseball. Come on, step up your game, Mark. We, we, I, by the time you're done, oh, you got to get to the end. Canada. Okay, I'll stop right there. That's it. That's it. That's, it. Until we, uh, that's good. Uh, maybe we'll have a drink or two and then you might be. Yeah, put the out. lyrics up because I know the tune. Okay. Yeah. I know our home and native land, and, and then I kind of just start breaking out in the U.S. national anthem and yeah. you know get get that stick ready to go. That's awesome. <laughs> Very. Nice. All right. So, quick. so yeah, I'm just looking at the chip counts here. So Ryan Schoenbart is uh, uh, was sixth going into uh, into day two today. We'll get an update in a little bit on the uh, on the chip counts, but uh, you know it's looking like he's positioned uh, pretty nicely to come in and uh, potentially take over the player of the series lead. All he needs is any min cash in any of the events. And uh, Dusty, unfortunately, uh, he had a trip with his wife uh, booked down to uh, Phoenix, oh. and uh, I know he was just it was just itching, and he was talking trying to talk her out of. Uh, out of going down or letting him come back so uh, we'll see dusty if you're watching buddy uh it's close it's close so uh, there's some great players and boy the, pound, the points that are going to come out of this main event too are going to really shake up not only the player of the series race but also the uh, also the player of the year standings so yep. uh, yeah lots of uh, lots of great reasons we've got a lot of guys in from toronto uh, Danny Freitas is in from Toronto. He's been uh, slightly tilted as uh, he's uh, kind of crept down and down and down the list a little bit. So mm-hmm. he's a hell of a player and a good friend. And uh, nice to see a great turnout of guys from Toronto, Vancouver, Edmonton, Saskatoon. We've got uh, we've really got uh, got the country coming together, and uh, so uh, we're having a, we're having a good time. Yeah, and of course tonight we've got a pot limit Omaha event. Uh, oh, and, and I'm going to tell you what this this one looks like a bloodbath tonight. <laughs> I call bloodbath. Yeah. This is a fun structure. Uh, we've run this. Uh, we've run this structure a couple of times now, and uh, so it's a two hundred dollar buy in uh, with hundred dollar rebuys and a single double add on. So you get four K in chips right away. Uh, you can immediately buy another for hundred bucks more. You can buy another four four uh, K in chips. Uh, you can. Uh, we have four levels, four thirty minute levels to uh, rebuy, and then uh, the single double add on. So uh, you know you can get lucky and get in there for you know three three hundred four hundred bucks or. Uh, I think my buddy Colin Burton, PLO specialist from Kelowna, he's in town tonight. I think he spent, uh, I think he spent close to 1,200 or something last time we ran this. Oh God! Uh, yeah, we got a 40k guarantee on this uh, event tonight too. So there's, uh, uh, it's going to be, uh, oh, it's going to be a great tournament. So yeah. So you want to you play, don't you? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, Lane and I will do the show, and uh, and you just go play. It's kind of hard to do the Mark Hoke show without Mark Hoke. It's been done. Yeah. Why don't Very we have, rarely. Maybe, why don't we get you? It's, it's called a hopeless show, by the way. There oh, is a term for it. Is it? Okay. I had to do that one time. I like it. Okay. Hopeless. Why don't we put, we see if we can put one of the tables right close here. But uh, Could I play and broadcast at the same time? You could, but uh, if we show any play on camera, Alberta Gaming is going to shut us down. Oh, we so can't have that. There is no coverage, streaming, we're, we're just not allowed to show anything, but we're working on that, and that's one of the things that uh, uh, that we've been doing. We've, uh, you know, produced a lot of television out of uh, out of Alberta and out of Canada in the past. We've done about 30 hours uh, for both The Score and Rogers Sports Network, which are the, uh, two of the bigger uh, uh, sports networks in Canada, and um, AGLC made a decision a few years ago that uh, uh, because of the potential perceived affiliation with online poker sites, whether they're uh, sponsoring part of the broadcast or just within commercial time, and they made a decision that uh, that's it, no more, uh, no more television out of Alberta. Hmm. So we're that's hoping. That's kind of sad. Yeah, it is very sad. But uh, you know, they've really uh, they've started to uh, starting to come around a little bit, and uh, uh, we're going to get some proposals in. We're hoping for. Uh, a We've got some huge events coming for next year, which we'll talk about through the next couple of days. And uh, we're hoping to get them to allow us to at least start by live streaming. Uh, now with the RFID cards and chips and that, first of all, it makes the television production costs a lot lower, but uh, also makes it a lot easier. And we want to uh, we want to get to that right away. And uh, we're working on some big stuff for Vancouver for later on this fall. That hopefully we'll have some live streaming coverage from as well. So. There you go. Yeah. So, but a lot so of, uh, Alberta Gaming, come on. Yeah. Come on board. It, it, it'll, it'll be okay. We do in Las Vegas all the time. Know. You know, it's okay. World still spins. Babies yeah. aren't dying. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Got it. Well, I hope no babies are dying. Not from, not from streaming at poker. Show. God, I hope not. There we go. <laughs> um, so. Of course, uh, main event kicking off tomorrow. Uh, $1,100 buy-in on that. $150,000 guarantee. we got two starting days on that. Uh, and there are two other events, too, in case you, you know, if you're worried about coming up here and, yeah. you know, busting out. Uh, we got an all in our fold, which is. Uh, so I built I built this one a little different. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I built I built a two bu- it's a two bullet event, 
so that uh, you start with two uh, two five thousand dollar lammers, so you can get either the five thousand or the ten thousand uh, stack, and uh, then it's your standard all winter fold. I uh, I looked at a couple of the different blind structures, the way uh, the way it's been done in the states, the way it was done at playground. Uh, built my own little version of it, and uh, I think it's going to play out really well. I don't play in uh, in these events. I am uh, toying with maybe uh, playing in uh, uh, for charity. Where uh, I'll go in, any money we win goes to the. Uh, I'm uh, going to put to Brad Garrett's Maximum Hope Foundation. Oh, great! Uh, for, we've worked with Brad a little bit in the past, and it's just it's just such a tremendous charity he's got. So, so we'll see. Either that, or uh, I, don't know. I just I don't want to play. I, you know, I've built, no, I don't blame I, you. You know, built 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 these events because because uh, I'm so excited about it. So we'll that see, uh, that's the worst thing about doing something like like what we did. You know, when we're in the media. You know, obviously, you know, I came up here to broadcast, so you know, me hopping into a tournament kind of defeat the point of. You know why I'm up here. Yeah. You know you're running. You know you're running these events, Absolutely. and you know it's very difficult for you to hop in. You know, God forbid something happens that needs yeah. your attention. Yeah. You know, and you got to walk away and create a disaster at the table. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of kind of sucks for everybody that's just not a player. You yeah. get you kind of get screwed. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. But uh, you know, uh, Jeff Johnson runs these tournaments. He's probably one of the greatest tournament directors we've ever ever had. In fact, he's just walking right by us. Jeff's going to come on. He's a little shy coming on. I got him to do an interview up on our site earlier uh, this week there. Uh, he, he was a little disappointed we didn't show his skinny side, though. So. Oh, well. Is there such a thing as a skinny side? If anybody would know it's... An angle. Yeah. I mean, if I get the right yeah. angle at this point. Yeah, right you, now, use mirrors or anything? I, I, at this point, I need to. Really? With all this traveling and everything in the seven months of the World or seven weeks of the World Series, you know every yeah, hotel I has, it a, a little bit. has a workout facility and an exercise facility, as yeah. well as a bar and a buffet, right? Yeah. So it's your choice. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's very bar difficult. Buffet or you got the exercise room. Um, I'm kind of the bar and buffet guy. Yeah, there's a there's a primary buffet, and then you know if I go and work out, I'm just I'm, just, it's not going to work. Yeah, the workout isn't you know getting back no. to the room after the no. primary buffet. No. You usually just head for the booze and make it worse. Um, also on Sunday, bounty tournament uh, coming up there as well. Three hundred thirty dollar buy-in on that. Get so a great turnout. And that's a uh, boy. That's, that's such a fun tournament. That you know, just the dynamic, the energy. That tournament is so different. It's a hundred dollar bounty. Uh, big. Oh, I'm expecting a big field for that one too. We always get a big turnout for that one. So uh, uh, between that and then our day two of the main event goes on Sunday as well too. So uh, we'll be reporting live from uh, from that all day and lots of uh, interesting things. I'm uh, I'm expecting just an absolutely massive turnout. Uh, so again, we're you know encouraging everybody. The other thing I wanted to let you people know, uh, we were just able to release another block of rooms at the brand new Gray Eagle Resort and Casino, a brand new facility and hotel. Uh, the rooms are beautiful. They and, are. And uh, 139 bucks uh, a night. Uh, just call and ask for the CPT Summer Showdown uh, uh, rate. Or uh, are you putting people up in your room? I'm working on it. All right. <laughs> maybe call in, and maybe you can stay with. Mark. Sorry, honey. Yeah. No girls allowed in your room. Come on. I'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> you know, Calgary's got some of the most beautiful women in the world. I I wouldn't know. I, I haven't been well, I know around. You, I know you don't really look. Enough. I'm just, I'm just well, I will. You know. Oh, I look. I mean, I just haven't had a chance to look. Yeah, no. I, I get to look at houses on the highway. I don't get to see the girls. Yeah, exactly. There's probably a couple of girls in that house on the highway blocking. There might have been. There you never been, know. But I'll tell you what. There's uh, there I, there is so many reasons that each and every one of you should be in Calgary coming up this weekend. Uh, uh, you know, that's uh, that's another one on the list. Yeah, so come on out. We've got a main event tomorrow. we got the PLO tonight. We've got a couple other tournaments in case, you know, I mean, I know everybody wants to win the main event. Yes. But just in case you don't. Or you're feeling gutsy. Yes, exactly. You know, try, and, try and play two. Yeah. Double dog dare you. And you can, you can fire a few, few bullets. Our, uh, our, our, my good buddy, uh, Tony Cumley uh, from Edmonton, he just shipped a big event up there. He's uh, cashed in a couple of our events here. Uh, he's doing pretty well in the high roller I see across the room there as well, too. So I think he fired four bullets in the uh, 550. We really appreciate that. Oh, I'm just... Yeah, no, appreciate that for the red face. Thank you very much, Tony Cumley, and all that fire multiple bullets. We uh, we set that up. That's why it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's helping build the prize pools and... Uh, you know, there's a lot of debate, do you, you know, do you just make it a straight freeze out or in these type of situations. But, you know, we've kept uh, kept Lake Reg open for anywhere from, you know, six to nine levels. The high roller event here, I see we've just popped up now to 40 players here. A couple more have just late regged here. We have uh, uh, actually 43 more minutes to enter the high roller event. We're going to be, uh, you know, probably well over 50, around 50,000 for first place. And uh, uh, so uh, you know, it just it just helps. We get a you know a couple of these guys that keep uh, keep shipping. Somebody somebody just busted over there. Well, oh, something happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, we 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 know who's going over you there. Know who's going over there? See, Lane Lane, Lane, Lane knows Anderson. Lane knows that sound. We, we, we gotta get you hear that sound, and off he goes. Yeah. He's, he's, 
it's like a fire them. alarm to a poker news reporter. We should get him on some roller skates, and we'll call them wheels. Oh, that would be we, cool. Can we get Anderson. one? Can you guys afford ones with little rockets on the back? Oh, absolutely. There's no other kind to have. That'd be great. You gotta have rockets. Absolutely. <laughs> I couldn't imagine lean on rocket skates. Yeah. That would be interesting. Lane uh, had a lot of fun. We put a lot of boots into him on Friday night, the first Friday night. That was a crazy night. Shame on you. I wasn't. You me. did that to poor Lane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it kind of was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to admit it. So. That's what I thought. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. Very, very good. So, uh, we're, uh, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, again, that's what the CPT is all about. Great structures, great fun, great turnouts. Making it, uh, making it a great poker life experience. So. Yeah, and I'm, I'm having a blast up here. Do appreciate it. And I'll tell you what, we need to take a quick break. Excellent. And we come back. We're going to talk more about what's going on here in this high roller. See who all's flying around here. There's all sorts of great poker players. You know, maybe some of you guys that follow my show in the United States may not have heard of, but we're going to get them introduced to you. Absolutely. So when you come up here, yes, you yeah, will know after. who to look for. That's right. We'll look after you real good. Yeah. So it should be a should be a pretty cool show here coming up over the next uh, the whole weekend here live from the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada on the Canadian Poker Tour. So let's step back and take a break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us. Poker players, it's time to check out DeejPoker.com. Deej Poker is the unique and clever choice for a new generation of true grinders. Representing the full spectrum of poker players from the novice to the world champion, a true Deej player gives their heart and soul for countless hours at the table to be the best. And Deej Poker Apparel shows everyone who you really are on and off the felt. So join the new generation at DeejPoker.com. That's Deej D-E-E-G Poker.com Deej Poker, the world's newest poker apparel store. I'm Dutch Boyd, two-time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. Twelve years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell-all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle right now, pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Sports bettors, tired of getting beat every week at your sports book? It's time to stop guessing and start winning. We all know cash is king, and it's time to let the team at Double Digit Covers come to the rescue to help you get the positive cash flow you need to live the life you've always dreamed about. Tony Dose and his all-star sports handicapping team will be in your corner to help you beat the point spread, bring excitement and winning to your betting experience, and build your bankroll to levels you never thought possible. Get free winning sports information at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Stop guessing and start winning today at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Call now for today's free winner. 1-855-489-2700. That's 1-855-489-2700. The Canadian Poker Tour returns to Calgary, Alberta, Canada for the CPT Summer Showdown July 24th through August 3rd at the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino. With 10 big events over 11 days featuring over a half million dollars in guarantees, it promises to be one of the most exciting events on the summer poker calendar. Plus, the Mark Hoke Show will be there live from July 31st through August 3rd for coverage of the CPT Summer Showdown High Roller and Main Event. For the full schedule and outstanding hotel and flight discounts, just visit CanadianPokerTour.tv. That's Canadian CanadianPokerTour.tv. See you in Calgary July 24th through August 3rd at the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino for the Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown. One man, 
his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. And we are back live here at the Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Green Eagle Resort and Casino. See, I'm just rolling that off. Uh, just rolling up. It's so smooth. Thank you. i got to make sure your mic's on there, too. Though. Now you gotta you gotta push that switch to there we go. Oh, there we go. Kelly now, Kellner. I'm turned up. Yeah, you've never seen a microphone before, have you? Never. No. no. That's unbelievable. Well, hey, we we're having a great time up here. High roller going on right now. We got the the Poker News Canada team hard at work over here. Lane Anderson, wheels. Just getting the job done. Yeah, I like he, it. I've never yeah. seen a guy just boy. It's just like roadrunner to the action as soon as you hear a cheer or a cry he's out there well you know if he was on top of it he'd be out on the floor already instead of <laughs> he'd be pre-anticipating <laughs> he'd be anticipating the play i'm telling chad holloway on you <laughs> that's all right hey uh by the way uh it looks like uh dan edema has uh, been uh, looking for firing another bullet at some point uh -oh. here so uh oh, no, he just he's gone. Uh, is he gone yet? Per the, per the update from Lane, Oh my God. Uh, Dan shouted out, I'm going to rebuy as he walked away from the table. Thank you, Dan. We appreciate so, the registration fees. So, <laughs> he's a good man. Yeah. That's what the kids say. Yeah. Uh, Sinan Tofik is your leader right now, and a pretty significant chip lead. Yeah, he's, uh, he's at 159,000. Raymond Chen in second at 80,500. So a little bit of a breakaway for Sinan Raymond, Tofik. Uh, Raymond Chen from Edmonton won the main event of the uh, CPT Spring Showdown. And uh, boy, he's uh, he's a tough player. This is this is a tough, tough field. And uh, but uh, you know what? You play your cards right. You can win on any day. Yeah, so you betcha. Even you and I got a shot. On occasion. On occasion. On occasion. Yeah. Well, uh, of course, uh, we we have a guest. We have probably one of the best guests we're going to have on the entire weekend of the show. Here. Jeez, why do we get him on now? Then we should have saved it. No, no, no. Because this just we build we build a new foundation, a new level, and then we just go higher from here. Oh, okay, so. Do you know who we got? So, so wait a minute. So, no, what you did was you said we got one of the best guests we're going to have, but we build a foundation and we're going to get higher from there. How it, do we do it? I, I don't know. It's, it's a Canadian approach. Is, to, is there like hovercrafts or something flying around here? I don't know about. It's a approach to, to great moments in broadcasting. Okay. We've already set up this uh, whole new Mark Hoke time scenario. Yeah. And now we are bringing in a very good friend of mine, probably one of the uh, best tournament directors I have ever worked with in any of our venues across the country, Mr. Jeff Johnson. How yeah, are you? Let's, uh, we'll Great. slide thank Jeff. Thank you. A little bit too much praise, but thank you very much. Oh, yeah, no, let's no. See no. Let's see if we can get what? Jeff a little closer. There yeah, we this go. Is, this That'll is cuddle work. time, Jeff. I, 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 I know you like that. I'll get close. All right. <laughs> well, so, Jeff, uh, of course, uh, this series has been going great. I mean, you know, we've had a ton of players uh, hitting every guarantee, everything going well. Uh, how's it been going on your end? What's happening? It's great. We've absolutely hit everything out of the park. The The cash games at night are just crazy. It's just it's more action than we've ever seen in the, in a one-week period in the poker. Yeah, we uh, we haven't brought that up yet. The, the PLO action up here is crazy. We've got a 10 to, uh 10-25-50 uh, game going. Uh, some some big names. Dave Kung is in from uh, Victoria, and uh, a lot of the Calgary crew, Edmonton crew. You get these guys all together. There is action like you wouldn't believe. How much money's on the table? 
in that game, we had a we had a girl last night. She pushed a pot for over eighty eight thousand. Yikes! Just pushed a pot, wow. right? Dave Kung, at one point, they said probably the greatest PLO player in Canada. Now that everybody's kind of caught up and catching mm -hmm. on, maybe he's lost a little bit of that, but he's still one strong individual. Yeah. So so wild stuff happening all over the place at this series. Uh, what, out of the events so far, what stood out to you? Of, and you know, obviously so many great things happening but you know what what's your high point of the right now my high point was probably getting 427 in our 330 that was we just blew that one out of the water with expectations were more than more than half that but not quite not 400 I think I think having the guarantees move up, and that was you know that's something that we've talked about in the strategy between uh, the Canadian Poker Tour and Grey Eagle. Uh, the one thing that we've really seen is Grey Eagle Resort and Casino has emerged as the clear and dominant leader in the poker industry in, in Calgary and uh, positioning itself in Western Canada now too. Uh, brand new hotel uh, has just opened, as well as a 2,300 seat uh, Vegas style auditorium. And uh, we have some exciting news, Jeff, to report that you guys have been doing a tremendous job in, uh, in that Alberta Gaming has now approved that facility for us to use for tournaments uh, going forward. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it work for this tournament. We had uh, uh, Winona Judd and, uh, and Beverly Mahood with concerts here last week. Oh, I'll throw them out. What? Throw out Winona. I, Are you I kidding me? I met Winona. She's beautiful. Old news. Oh, Old I, news. I, I, listen, I like Winona. No, I'm all cute with Winona. Jesus. Of course. So, she'll of kick, course. She'll kick your ass, Mark. She probably would. Yeah, she it was awesome. Great, great, great performance. Uh, the caliber of entertainment at the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino uh, going through the roof. And uh, like I say, the biggest tournament's coming here. Uh, we're going to have Leah Thias, casino manager, on talking about another big event that uh, uh, we're going to uh, try and help get some of our players to come to coming up in September is the uh, the Deep Stacks Poker Tours coming in as well. Yeah, absolutely. No, no other place in Alberta has ever allowed... Um, it basically, the the casino. I don't want to get too technical, but the theater is not part of the casino, and no, we've never been. Nobody's ever been allowed that, and gaming granted that to us, and it's going to be it's going to be a great event. But yeah, it's, it's a game changer in that now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have tables going. We've got uh, 17 tables in the poker room. We've got about a dozen tables here in Blaze Restaurant. Uh, but, you know, it's not always great to be able to shut, you know, have to shut the restaurant down. So now we'll be able to put up to 40, 50 tables. And uh, uh, Lee threw out a challenge to me uh, to now start thinking even bigger for next year. And uh, we've got some exciting things that we're going to build uh, looking, uh, looking at building what uh, I hope to be the largest poker tournament in Canadian history for next August. So uh, we're going to start uh, talking a little bit about that and, uh, and starting building some cool things. Absolutely, no doubt. W I mean, it, it's just going to be logistically better. It's a little bit split up having it in two rooms. It's going to be great just having it in one big room. It's just, it's going to be amazing, and we're going to knock it out of the park like usual. Absolutely. Well, you got a great team here, too. Uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny's uh, looking over the floor here right now, but uh, you two, uh, it's a great partnership in terms of just flawlessly executing. We just, uh, you know, you, you sometimes we don't really notice or acknowledge you as much because things are running so smoothly. And, uh, and so I just wanted to thank you so much for the time, commitment, and the effort. I know it's, it's a lot of hours, and we get a little bit, uh, little bit tired, a little bit grumpy. Yeah, and, and you see the thing is, but you're a good boy. You go home afterwards. We, some, somebody has to stay and host these that, parties. That's a good call yeah. on your part, by the way. Yeah. I'm married, and I got a three-year-old kid. There's, no, there's nothing more important to me than that right now. But I just want to say, you said I'm the best tournament director, but I, I'm just the ins administrator. If I, I couldn't do any of it without Kenny and all my staff. They're, they've been great putting in countless hours it's it's been tough on all of us but the end result is what we have that's a great tournament for sure now you've got some uh, poker dealer schools uh going on here we're getting prepared for some bigger events coming up yeah. uh so uh if there are some dealers out there or people that are interested in becoming dealers uh, definitely call into the gray eagle resort and casino uh we're going to need a lot more staff here for uh, for what we're going to do but uh like I say, uh, just very, very well done, and uh, we're going to get Kenny on here. I know he's shy to come on uh, one of these days here. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to get him just to uh, get a little uh, recognition of his greatness. Absolutely. Kenny's great. A little bit shy, but we'll, we might be able to break him into it. Right. Like me, I'm a little shy as well. Oh, yeah, you're shy. Yeah, listen to you. You just got that microphone and ran off with it. I did. I you're did. not shy. Yeah, I'll don't, take it don't, around Don't there. lie. Okay. Can we interview the massage girl? Haven. Have you met Haven yet? I have not. Now, do you know what's interesting is that uh, Jeff, okay, so Jeff's taken off now that we're going to start talking yeah. about that. Uh, Jeff is running away. <laughs> I, I probably uh -oh. don't blame him. Kelsey's talking about the girls now. Um, no, uh, so Sinan Tafik, who's the uh, chief leader, he's uh, we're able to uh, get, uh, he's set up a, uh, a new company to uh, five plus five uh, minute massages. 
Uh, so his girls are uh, are in here now. We got that approved as well too, Nails. So uh, there you go. You got it all at the Great wow. Resort Casino. They got to hire my favorite masseuse from the World Series. What's his name? No, my my dear friend Heather. Oh, I got to give her a shout out. By the way, I promised hey, I promised I'd do that on the uh, really? down at uh, when I was just in California, and I okay. really didn't do it. So, do so I'll give her an international shout out. Heather, hey, how you doing? How great, you doing, great massager. Come up to Calgary. Yep. There you go. We'll get, we'll get you. You fly her spot. up right now. You show it out. She'll be here. We could do that. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. Kicking around. We we'll should get Heather to come up. Okay. Is she cute. Yeah. I'm pretty shy. So. It's very, it's quite the sweetheart. Took good care of me too. Yeah. I'll tell you what, people people underestimate how important getting mas- uh, getting a massage can yeah. be during an event. I mean, so, you know, you're playing all these days and nights, and you yeah. know, it's very brutal. And you know, Heather actually saved me during my World Series event because it was it was about three in the afternoon for some reason. I was really tired. And I was falling asleep. Yeah. And uh, uh, just gets uh, just gets the the energy going and the blood flowing, and uh, and also too just helping helping position with you know when you're not sitting. Like I had one girl. Vancouver, I, uh, I was playing the Spring Ultra Stack at Edgewater Casino, and uh, um, I got, uh, I think I got a half hour massage, and uh, just kind of got that, but she made me sit different, she changed my whole perception, wow. made me sit up straight, had my legs straight, she gave me, you know, she gave me a hard time for uh, going back to my old position, she said, I just spent half hour straight in you out, what are you doing? Yeah. And, uh, you know, so posture, there's so many elements to this game, you know, in terms of, in terms of your posture and your energy and that kind of thing, so uh, big props and a shout out to these girls that do a tremendous job, and um, you know, it's, uh, it's great to have them here, and uh, we got them going up in Calgary now. Yeah. There you go. See, just keep it coming. Do you ever get a massage during the show? Uh, did I get one during the show? I don't think I did. We might have to get Haven to come over here. Okay. And and give you, because that'll, you know, wait, wait till you meet her. She's, okay. she's tremendous. So. I saw her. Yeah. You know, briefly, she was kind of meandering around yeah. here. Okay. Doing her thing. Very good. Yeah. So. Well, we'll get a shout out to uh, Sanan and his company and, and, and Haven, and uh, Ooh, uh, maybe, we can get, maybe we can <laughs> get maybe we can get maybe we can get like a ten minutes each while we're doing the show later as a shout out as, that a, is, as a bit of an advertisement. That is a great deal, I think. Yeah. I'll take that. Exactly. And maybe we I won't be like, doing much talking. I mean, we kind of like. Maybe eh. We should get like one percent of him in the high roller as well too, if he's got all these. Oh, chips. I don't know if we can get that. Can we can we? Tr- I mean, you can try. Can't hurt to ask. You can you can do it. I mean, hey, you're, you're my Mark, agent you're, right you're, now. I'll tell Mark, you what. You're Mark Hope. You should be getting a piece of everybody's action. Well, I understand that. I think they they don't. That's the there. problem. That, well, I'm going to talk to them. I'll talk. Listen, the Canadian people are much more open to you know this whole sharing. No, they're just nicer about saying no. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, and of course, it's it, it's always a little different atmosphere when you come up to Canada. Uh, you know, I think. I mean, you know, for me, you know, I went to North Dakota State, yeah. so you know, I lived in Fargo, and yeah. you know, got to. I spent a lot of time in Fargo. We used to. I grew up in Winnipeg, so we would. Uh, oh yeah. Time, we used to go down to uh, down to West Acres Mall there. And, uh, yes, the yes. West Acres Mall. Yes, yes, and my good friend Norm Leslie, he and his father uh, uh, Bob built the uh, Ramada Plaza Suites Hotels. So, okay. Uh, yeah. No, I I knew Fargo very well. Yeah, and it's just you know a little more laid back. You know, I mean, people still take things seriously, but they're not maybe as. Uh, outspoken at the table and things like that as yeah. we see in the United States. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, I used to love that part of that part of the country going down. I used to produce a television show marketing real estate. Okay. Back, and actually I put up a throwback Thursday. My mom had actually found a copy of the TV guide from 1991 uh, when I was on it. And uh, it was a half hour show. We did uh, video tours of houses listed for sale, moving tip of the week, mortgage tip of the week. Cool. And, uh, but back then in Canada, you couldn't air an infomercial except between midnight and 6 a.m. So I, uh, I went down to the ABC affiliate in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and bought the airtime. So I produced the show during oh, the week, that's drive sneaky. it down, drive it down on Friday night. And uh, uh, I'd check in, I'd check into the Ramada, and they had a little bar. They had $5 maximum blackjack in the bar. Yep. And, Absolutely, uh, and I would go down there, deliver the deliver the show to the station, go and uh, and have a have a Friday Saturday night in Grand Forks, and then go back to Winnipeg, do it all over again. So those are those are fun years. That is, that is very nice. Yeah, you should see that picture of me though. Have, that was half a lifetime ago when I was twenty. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, I'll pull it up. I'll show it to you. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look at that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, so of course, uh, once again, the high roller event going on here right now on the uh, Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown. Getting ready for that uh, Potlim and Omaha tournament tonight as well. Uh, let's see uh, if we have any more updates coming out here for you. And, uh, 22, oh. uh, 22 players left of the uh, 41 uh, that are now registered. Another 23 minutes left to enter this tournament. And uh, So if you're anywhere around and down, get down here or call in. We can uh, get you looked after. 
So here is the uh, the hand we were referring to, by the way. Okay. Uh, let's see. You got filled in on it. Three way all in had a four bit shove uh, worth twenty nine thousand chips. Uh, called by two players, tens, jacks, and ace king. So that's always fun. Yeah, there's the action. Ten on the flop, blank, jack on the river. Oh. So so ace king just went. Oh jeez, suck me. Some. Oh, that's oh. so much fun. That's awesome. Not really. I love poker. I hate poker. It's, <laughs> I don't know. No. It's just poker. Yep, and you know that's the kind of action you're going to be seeing around here, of course. Uh, still a little bit of time. You know, if you, maybe if you're in the. Well, you're in, the, in the hotel or in yeah, the city. As long as there's no houses blocking, blocking the overpass. Yeah, you'll be all right. Uh, so come on down. You can still get in this high roller event. Uh, you know, looking at, uh, what are we looking at for first place? Around 50000 well, We're going to have 120000 in the prize pool. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably be, you know, it'll be in that 45-ish range, maybe up to 50. So we'll see. I like to, uh, you know, we like to keep the, play, the uh, payouts fairly flat. Yeah. Um, you know, especially in a longer event and some of the some of the bigger events, you know, to get the so all the money isn't going uh, to uh, you know too many uh, to too few people and uh, you know let people play multiple events and take some shots. So yeah. that's one thing we've done too is we've spent a lot of work over the last few years, just between schedules and or, uh, formats and, and structures. Uh, you know, boy, there's been some brutal structures and it's, it's amazing how many facilities just don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's they they want to get. Uh, I've, I've run into so many uh, casino managers, especially that you know most casino managers don't really understand or get poker, and all they want to do is when it gets to that final table, is get it over as fast as possible. Right. And, uh, They've never really had a great, you know, they always go, oh, well, our labor, our labor. So it's like, well, listen, here's $50 out of my pocket. Pay that dealer his $15 an hour and let him play for another three hours because now you're playing for all the money. And uh, it's just, it's, it, it was so frustrating, especially in the year, early years of trying to build these events and, uh, and get players to respect the integrity of the structure and the format. And uh, so now we're getting it. And we, I've been able to now push back with a lot of these guys and say, listen, this is our approved format. This is the way it's going to be. And I'll tell you what, you ask any one of these players here, they, they, you know, they love our structures. Uh, even Alan Kessler loves our structures. There you go. We're chainsaw approved. That thing is, that? Then it's over. Is it's it, over. There's nowhere it, else to go. Does it get any better? No. I don't know how we can make it any better. No, not a clue. Okay. Well, let me ask you this is, you know, so many poker tours out there. And, you know, you guys have been doing a fantastic job for uh, around 12 years now. Okay. But, you know, obviously we see some different events going on, like, you know, at the World Series, for example, saw some, some new things come up. And, you know, other companies are trying things. Okay. You know, when you see things. Like what happened at the World Series with the, this year with some you know a tournament like a Monster Stack, yes. uh, Dealer's Choice, and so on. You know, what uh, what ideas did you like maybe that you've seen in the past six months or so that you would like to incorporate into the Canadian Poker Tour for future events? Did you see something really stood out to you? There, there, you know, there's. I'm a big one about innovation and 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 making it interesting, exciting, but also. You know, having the basics. So, uh, you know, that's why this series we do have the win the button and the all interfold, which is which is new for uh, it's the first time uh, in Western Canada that uh, we've had it. I know they had one at Playground. I think that was the first time in Canada. So, um, you know, so things like that. Uh, you know, I love the monster stack because I just, you know, I I've never myself personally as a player been a big fan of the, you know, the you know starting with three thousand or forty five hundred in chips. It's you know it, it, it's great if you run good early and uh, and that when you can finally play some poker later. But uh, so the monster stack I thought was fantastic. I'm uh, uh, I've always, if you look at any of our events, we, you know, there's a lot of chips. There's, uh, there's good chips in play, and we don't skip the levels to take it out. We, you know, we, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you can build a great structure, and you can have all the elements in there without having to having to sacrifice. But uh, yeah, we're looking, you know, the uh, the ante up and those type of things. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, we're talking to a lot of the players and getting some buzz about that. So I want to kind of build some some uh, some different formats. And uh, uh, like I say, I'm uh, I'm now starting to build an event. Uh, that I want to run that is like, you know, just in terms of the scope of the field for Canada and for the world, it's, it's going to be absolutely massive. So um, basically what we want to do is build an event uh, where we'll have, uh, it'll be an $1,100 buy-in, but you'll be able to play uh, day 1A and day 1B in any of about 25 different poker rooms across the country. Wow. And uh, so hmm. we're uh, looking at debating structure and all that, but uh, uh, as well, uh, you know, uh, hopefully having an online partner with uh, with Play Now. Uh, they've, uh, they've initially uh, chatted, and they they kind of like the concept. So we've got a long way to go on it, uh, but I've got uh, I've got a, right now I've got about a dozen venues fully committed that uh, that uh, that like it, and I think we can get it up to probably 26 to 28 casinos across the country. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I've, uh, you know, I've had a great uh, chat with Mike McDonald about it. He really likes the concept. 
Uh, but when you look at the scope of how we can work that and build it, uh, I've run some numbers, and I think that we can get between five and 6,000 entries uh, across the country between that and running, uh, running the online. Yeah. You know, satellite is strong. We want to build a television model and coverage model around it. Um, I'd also like to build an element where you can enter day two, uh, day two as well directly, so that would attract a lot of players from around the world to come up, and again, with all the advantages, no withholding tax, and come up and play some online and US dollar plus EV and play when you're 18 years old. Uh, it could make Canada a massive destination for this and a tremendous economic benefit for the host venue, for all of the venues, and re-energize poker. You could run single table satellites for 100 bucks, yeah, or 120 bucks, uh, which uh, you know gives anybody a shot at life-changing money. And this is, you know, this is serious. Like we're talking about a million plus for first. And uh, so if we can build that, it could uh, it could turn into something absolutely huge. Do you? Do you think that we're going to start seeing more mixed game type tournaments coming around? I mean, it's it's so hard sometimes to get them going, but we you know we saw this year at the WSOP an expansion of those, yeah. and I think people are starting to get a little no limit hold them weary just because yes. the games are oh, so tough now. Yeah. So it, you know, do you do you want to do you think that there's a place to incorporate more tournaments, or is it just something that uh, you really should be leaving to the cash games? Um, you know, the problem that we have. Uh, particularly up here at Stafford in Langley. And it's tough enough to have a large, you know, you've got these venues that, you know, are typically running four or five cash games max at any one time, and all of a sudden, you know, you need 60 or 80 dealers for an extensive period of time. Uh, again, licensing and, and hiring tax. It's not like Vegas where everybody can just come in and, you know, once you're licensed by the state. So, you know, you've got hired by each properties and hiring tax and, and all of those issues are making it very, very difficult. So that's why I mentioned earlier, Great Eagles running a poker school. If we can have a pool of dealers that maybe has a part-time job that have some experience or former dealers that have moved on into other areas where we can bring the labor in. Uh, but that's the biggest issue that makes it tough because, you know, training that many quality dealers in a tournament format to play, uh, you know, an eight game or a 10 game is just, uh, it's, it's virtually impossible right mm. now. So I'd love to do it. Uh, I know the players would like to see it, but uh, logistically, uh, it's very, very tough. So what we're hoping to do is to see if we can get, you know, that group of dealers that travel for the bigger events, whether it's WPT, WSOP, and as such, if, you know, if we'll be able to get some, uh, some type of process with the different regulators in each province. Uh, in Canada, every province has its own gaming regulator. So, uh, you know, with different, you know, they've all got their different rules and regulations. Uh, for example, BCLC in British Columbia was one of our largest partners in terms of putting up money to televise poker events going back in 2006 through 2010. Alberta Gaming is simply in a position of just regulating us out of the television business. And like I say, hopefully that's going to change. Uh, every every province is different and it makes it, uh, it, makes it tricky. So, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot, a lot that players don't see that goes on behind the scenes. There's a lot of work and a lot of effort. And we put a lot of commitment into trying to make it better and, and, and do things like innovate the game. So in a very long answer, yes, we do want to do that, but uh, it, it is, uh, it, it's a tough road. Well, there you go. So you guys out there that are looking to do some CPT events, just you know, start banging on your uh, yeah. gaming commission's doors. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and you know, clean some of that up. Exactly. That's, but that is interesting. I mean, you know, obviously we deal, you know, we're dealing with all this insanity in the United States with the online poker right yeah. now and, you know, how difficult that is. But, you know, that's a, that's a factor that, that you guys have to take into consideration when you're doing your events, too, that, you know, right now we don't really have to concern ourselves about too much, uh, you know, unless there's a, you know, a, a, a conflicted event. Uh, with something really big, yeah. you know, FTOPS is coming up this weekend, and sure. and I know you guys, you know, had to, you've got a plan to work around events like for that. Sure, we'll work around it or use it as a marketing opportunity for players in the U.S. that can't play it. Well, you come up here, you get a great room rate, you've got uh, you've got a solid tournament to run as well, uh, where you can sit here, you can put your laptop, uh, your, your you know, your tablet right uh, right beside you and and play it. So you know, that was one of the things we had uh, Mike Leo talking about with some of his guys trying to get them to attract them to come up here. So. Um, you know, the events, we're looking for something big in BC in the fall here. we got to look around the scoop event and, uh, and uh, you know, there's lots to take into consideration. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get a, our one more break in and then we're going to come back. We'll keep it rolling with Kelly Kellner and everybody down here at the Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown. Gree Eagle Resort and Casino having a blast in here. Loving this place. Just wait. You haven't even had a drink yet here. I know I haven't had a drink. Oh, give me That's some. Uh, change. Give me some Windsor. Yeah. 
Okay. Windsor and we'll work our way up. Okay, you got it, brother. It's my fave. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Yeah. You might have new favorites. I, I might. Yeah. Then we'll start throwing some stuff out, see what happens. Okay. All right, let's take a break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you on the other side. Poker players, it's time to check out DeejPoker.com. Deej Poker is the unique and clever choice for a new generation of true grinders. Representing the full spectrum of poker players from the novice to the world champion, a true Deej player gives their heart and soul for countless hours at the tables to be the best. And Deej Poker Apparel shows everyone who you really are on and off the felt. So join the new generation at DeejPoker.com. That's D-E-E-G Poker.com. Deej Poker, the world's newest poker apparel. Apparel store. Poker players, it's time to check out DeejPoker.com. Deej Poker is the unique and clever choice for a new generation of true grinders. Representing the full spectrum of poker players from the novice to the world champion, a true Deej player gives their heart and soul for countless hours at the table to be the best. And Deej Poker Apparel shows everyone who you really are on and off the felt. So join the new generation at DeejPoker.com. That's Deej Poker. D-E-E-G Poker.com Deej Poker, the world's newest poker apparel store. I'm Dutch Boyd, two-time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. Twelve years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell-all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle right now, pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. And call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Sports bettors, tired of getting beat every week at your sports book? It's time to stop guessing and start winning. We all know cash is king, and it's time to let the team at Double Digit Covers come to the rescue to help you get the positive cash flow you need to live the life you've always dreamed about. Tony Dose and his all-star sports handicapping team will be in your corner to help you beat the point spread, bring excitement and winning to your betting experience, and build your bankroll to levels you never thought possible. Get free winning sports information at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Stop guessing and start winning today at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Call now for today's free winner. 1-855-489-2700. That's 1-855-489-2700. 
The Canadian Poker Tour returns to Calgary, Alberta, Canada for the CPT Summer Showdown July 24th through August 3rd at the Grey Eagle Resort and Casino. With 10 big events over 11 days featuring over a half million dollars in guarantees, it promises to be one of the most exciting events on the summer poker calendar. Plus, the Mark Hoke Show will be there live from July 31st through August 3rd for coverage of the CPT Summer Showdown High Roller and Main Event. For the full schedule and outstanding hotel and flight discounts, just visit CanadianPokerTour.tv. That's Canadian CanadianPokerTour.tv. See you in Calgary July 24th through August 3rd at the Great Eagle Resort and Casino for the Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. And we are back live here. Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Come on. Fire it up. We've got six minutes left to enter the high roller event. If you're watching at home, I don't think you're going to make it. Now, drop me the 33 I'm in. I'll give you 98%. Yeah, you need to. I think you need to give me like 120%. Oh, jeez. I, so I, I'm paying you. But that's, that kind of defeats the point. I know. I know. Do you see you this know? field? This is, this is a tremendous field I'm of not scared. Canadian celebrities. I know it is, but I'm not scared. You're not scared? I'm not scared. Okay. Well, because it's not your 3,300. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> All right. I'm Mark Hoke. Thanks for being with us. Kelly Kellner, the man behind the Canadian Poker Tour hanging out with us in here hey and i want to make sure i uh, get to mention uh, of course we always like to you know we pick up some new twitter followers yes always like to say hi to a few of them and we got a bunch over the past uh, five or six days uh part of it thanks to that little trip down with the my good friends on the two pair broker tour you need to do a joint with them i'd love to absolutely we should do that we gotta we should have we gotta, a throw i'd like to have a canadian u.s throwdown showdown i think i'll tell you what I think we can make that happen. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook you up with my buddy Roger on that. Okay. Now, you guys should talk. Who, who, so Roger's the one that's uh, running yeah. that? Yeah. Can he and I play a little charity heads up against each other? I'm sure you could. I'll kick his ass. Roger's pretty good. Roger. Even though he did not show it when we did our little double heads up challenge. Really? On really? the live stream. Yeah, really? the, the Deej Poker Boys took he and the team, uh, or two pair Poker Pro, Matt Bodorf, to town. Yeah. Really? To town. I tell you what, I'm the Kelster Media, though. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm tough. I'm All right. Tough. I, hey, I believe you. Listen, I got a ring and everything. It is a nice ring. Don't punch me with that. I would not punch you. That'll hurt. We don't punch in Canada. Oh, actually, yeah, you do. Yeah, we do, actually. Yeah, you do. Actually, Come do. on. You know, we got a funny uh, funny video you should take a look at from a couple of years ago at the Canadian Open. Uh, our uh, buddy, the guy we had uh, breakfast with, M.D. Hughes from uh, Vancouver. Uh, we were out. Uh, we were out at uh, one of the parties, and uh, Gavin Smith. Uh, Gavin Smith was there, and I was there. And, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Gavin was there. That that answers yeah, that part. Yeah. So we wanted to uh, to see how much it would take to let Gavin slap Mark across the face as hard as he could, and he did it for like 160 bucks. That's it. Yeah, it's wow. on YouTube. If you search, if you search on YouTube, uh, Gavin Smith slaps MD. You'll see it. It is the greatest. Wow. It's the greatest slap ever. I think he's still a little shaky from it. 
Gavin makes the greatest videos. I yeah. swear to God. But uh, let me give these shout outs here real quick to some of our the new followers of the Mark Hoke Show. And you can follow us at Mark Hoke Show. We'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, I have uh, Hillary Cast uh, Stevens uh, at H Cast Stevens uh, joined in. Gina Fiore, just how it sounds there. The Seahawks 32 was firing up everything during our live stream we did last weekend. That was nice. pretty entertaining. Uh, Pedro M uh, underscore Pedro West. Thank you. Thank, thank your phone. And uh, hey, Nicole from the 101 Casino in Petaluma. Uh, Nicole 101 TD. I want to appreciate, appreciate her getting the follow. Of course, uh, the one that I'm really shocked at, my co-host on my show on KLAV 1230 AM. My co-host yeah. has finally followed the Mark Hoke show. The Thank House of Peen. Thank you, a P-A-N-E. Wow. Thanks, Joe, for following the show. You've <laughs> only been on it for six months. I followed you right away as soon as I met you. Yeah. Yeah. Joe followed me elsewhere and then finally figured out, oh, I guess I should follow Mark there, too. And got the follow from uh, Gray Eagle Poker. And if you want to follow them, it's Poker Gray Eagle, so you can see everything going on Absolutely. here at the Gray Eagle uh, Casino and Resort. As well as uh, the CPT online. At CPT online is our Twitter. Or uh, follow that, us on, uh, fav- on uh, Facebook as well. I laid that right up there for you, too, sure. didn't I? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a perfect lead. Yeah, totally. I knew it was coming. Maybe I'll be in the baseball trades now because I hit it up there. I'll tell you what, I mean, I hate to deviate from the poker, yeah. but all hell broke loose I on know, these trade deadlines today. Yourself. I mean, you know, I, I'm a, for those that uh, haven't heard the show, I am a total baseball junkie. Yeah. I'm an Orioles fan, and I just watched David Price go to Detroit, John Lester go to Oakland, and uh, Suspedis go into Boston, and John Lackey got sent to St. Louis. It's amazing. All within a matter of a couple of hours. Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah, that's a shakeup thing. <sighs> At how, least, how do you feel about that? Um, I'm I'm a little scared for the playoffs now for the right. Orioles. Yeah. Uh, that that that's going to make this a little a little rougher. Yeah, just a tad because yeah. Detroit Detroit beatable with with just Verlander there and the other guys. But now you got to be Verlander and Price probably twice. That's very tough. Yeah, very tough. Yeah. <sighs> it's making me twitch already when I think about it. Need a drink? I might. I might need a drink for that one. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Hey, I think we've got some updated chip counts uh, for the high roller going on right now. Uh, let's take a look at some of those stacks we've got going in. Our chip leader, uh, Sinan Tofik, has now gone up to 173,000 in chips. So he has bounced up there a little bit. Ah, but he is getting chased down yeah. a tad. Latif Yar from but, uh, Edmonton. He's... Uh, Looks like he won that. Uh, he must have been the one that won that three-way all-in. Yep, goes to 124,800 chips. Uh, Jay Dragland uh, in third at 97,000. Raymond Chen uh, still about where he was and is in fourth place now at 86,000. Uh, Schoenbart at uh, 58,000. Jimmy Lee and no to my listeners, not Jimmy Lee the singer. No. Not, no. not, not the the country rocker with the poker no. songs. No, this Jimmy is Lee, another most famous for knowing uh, for uh, winning our turbo event at the uh, spring uh, showdown. Yeah, how's that? So a little mi- minor showdown, but he know he's a, he's a very poor singer. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know <laughs> that for sure. He may be an excellent singer. We'll uh, we'll have to ask him. Maybe, you know what? I'll, I'll, maybe we'll get him to sing the anthem. I'll get him to sing some Jimmy Lee songs and see what happens. I bet you he does. I'll give him. I'll give him a little about you know, a half hour to practice. Yeah. See what he can do. That'd be a great spiel for him. That that wouldn't be bad. Jimmy Lee singing Jimmy Lee. Uh, Forty nine thousand. Kareem Chitar at forty three nine. Uh, Kareem uh, Kareem is just an absolute phenomenal player. Back uh, back in the day, uh, we uh, we uh, we ran some bigger events uh, uh, here in Calgary, and uh, he won two back to back events in the uh, fall and in the spring. Uh, back we used to do a three day seven hundred and sixty dollar event. Uh, we typically get about 150 players a day. It was 100. He won 100 and K, 101k uh, in the fall, and then 100k the follow-up event in the spring. Jeez. However, when I won the uh, Gray Eagle Fall Classic back in, uh, I think it was 2009. It was a 1500 dollars buy-in. Which I heard you cheated in, by the way. Is that uh, true? Yeah, of course, because I have so much control over the cards. And all that. <laughs> a marketing guy, and yes, I. Yeah. Know, exactly. Anyways, I'm very, very <laughs> proud of myself. Uh, Kareem, uh, Kareem, I was able to uh, get him uh, knock him out at the end, and, uh, and uh, that was one of my uh, one of my claims of fame. There you go. I won that event. Chopped the Punta Cana Poker Classic. Uh, nice. Uh, about a year and a half ago. I'm going to go back to Punta Cana this year. That was a great tournament. Oh, it sounds like fun. Yeah, I won my package online. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys. So yeah, we can't space. do that. Like well, that well, we still bit. can. It's just you know, we're a little limited on our our player pool. Yes. In Nevada, you yeah. know, being. Being yeah. in Nevada now, You're getting there. I get to enjoy my time on Ultimate Poker and yeah. WSOP.com. There you go. That's all you need. Yeah, all right. 
Yeah. Come play up here. You can play. Are you gonna, it's funny you're not playing already. You know what? I should have gotten like sixteen hours. I didn't think about it. you know we we set this up a while ago and I didn't think to try and get my clearance. Can I just hop on? I thought I, you had to get I, clearance I, to hop I on. I have no idea. I, uh, I'll ask Mike Leah. Yeah. Go leave. Go away. I'll yeah. track him down. He's with his mum right now. Yeah. I won't bug Mike. Okay. That'd be kind of mean yeah. of me. I I know enough Poker Stars pros. Yeah. I could probably check it out. Dan and Demo know. Yeah. Yeah. He knows everything. All right. He's a golden boy. So uh, they are 21, lifting, listing is 21 players left out of the 41 in the high roller event going on. On level 9, 400, 800, uh, 100 any. We've got an average chip stack of about 58,500 chips. 1.23 million in play, so somebody's going to be walking out of here with a nice chunk of change. Absolutely, yeah, and the uh, entries have now just ended just two minutes ago, so 41 players is... Uh uh, is uh, is the uh, total field for this? So uh, not a bad uh, not a bad little turnout for 3,300 up here. So uh, we'll get those prize pools done and uh, get those posted right away. There you go. So we'll have all that information for you in just a little while. And of course, uh, don't forget we're going to be back on tonight because actually we're getting ready to wrap this up in about 10 minutes. Okay. I mean, this, see, time just flies on the Mark Hope show. I know. Show. I know. This is fantastic. Is, it, is that going back to now Mark Hope time? Is it? It's it, it's timeless. It's. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna spread the word on this thing. I think we're gonna write an article in Canadian Poker Player magazine about the new Mark Hope time set. Okay. Okay. That'll be fun. I'm down. Okay. I think we've invented something fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling there will be a few people out there that'll be like, "Are you kidding me?" No. No, they Screw won't. Them. I know. But they don't embrace Mark Hope time. Well, it is. And it's very huggable. Yeah. Now, it's very huggable. They're embracing time. Now it's getting philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, but. Uh, Jeez, now I totally lost my train of thought. What was it? Oh, yeah, we're going to be okay. back on tonight. You know, we're going to uh, get Haven to come on tonight and give you a massage talking about uh, talk about the philosophical nature of Mark Hope time in the poker world. Okay. I like that. That sounds great. There you go. So we'll be back on 6 Mountain Time for you guys. Uh, you know, of course, we shifted Eastern to Pacific, and now we're temporarily Mountain Time. So once again, make sure you guys uh, adjust your clocks accordingly. 5 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Mountain, 8 o'clock Eastern. And, for our and friend, 7 Central. And seven, uh, 7 Central for our friends in Winnipeg. Uh, speaking of Winnipeg, uh, a good friend of mine, Chris Clisby, just busted out of the uh, uh, the High Roller event. Uh, great, great kid. I absolutely love him. And uh, uh, we're not going to talk to him for a little while, though, because he is, uh, I think, quite tilted. That, you know, and that's a rotten time to bust out, too. I actually made the mistake. I was just playing a really small tournament the other day that had a, a rebuy after the, uh, you know, after the first hour was over. Yeah. And I kind of screwed up and ended up crippling myself on the last hand. Oh, no. So I couldn't rebuy back in because yeah, it was only that. during the first hour. And yeah. I, I, it was a terrible play on my part. Yeah. You know what's uh, worse you is when, yeah, when, you, get, when you, you try and jam and then you end up with like 150 chips left. And you yeah, to that. That, that's so, about what I did. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to surrender that sack. That would have been nice. Yeah. I got to talk to my boys about that. Yeah. But yeah, so so obviously uh, this was not the time to bust out of this. If, if you were thinking about firing another bullet anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Got to be careful, kids. Yes, you certainly do. Yeah, but uh, somebody's going to walk out here with a good chunk of coin on this $3,300 buy-in high roller event. And, of course, we've got all sorts of great things going on. Of course, the Ivy Poker team hanging around here, Mike Leah and the boys. Yeah. Uh, you know, very, all very having them up. And some awesome offers available for you if you want to get involved with that. And, of course, we've got uh, Poker News Canada Doing here. Doing a great job of coverage. Lane, great. Wheels, Anderson. Okay, where do you get the name Wheels? Because he was wheeling out of here so fast, and we were going to get him the roller skates. For oh, okay, the okay. Back. So, so we have dubbed him Wheels. We have dubbed him Wheels. Wow, are we going to get away with that? Think it's going to hold? I don't know. We're going to see if he likes it. If he doesn't like it, it's for sure. It's a lock. Okay. Okay. Done. If not, we got to get something that kind of that kind of makes him extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> That's so mean. Uh, and of course, uh, we also have, uh, you know working with Global Poker Index up here as well, and uh, and once again, very uh, honored to be here as well with the Mark Oak Show. Great to have you, and it's uh, nice. We're going to have uh, some great coverage uh, all day on Sunday for the uh, day two of the main event. Uh, we've also got the uh, $330 bounty event running on Sunday. So, uh, you know, people should just come here, play, and listen to us on their uh, on their iPods. Or on their yeah, iPod. you can. Of course, you can listen. We, you know, for we've got it uh, live streaming on CanadianPokerTour.tv. Also, of course, MarkHokeShow.com. You can also get it on your phones. Yep. We've got a phone app. Do you? Yeah. That's fantastic. I don't have the phone app up yet. Yeah. Really? I'll, I'll have oh to. Oh, my God. That's next level. MarkHokeShow.Podbean.com backslash mobile. Oh, okay. That's from where my podcast site is, of okay. course. If you and, and if you, by the way, if you haven't heard the show before, yeah. 
you know, of course, we're, we did a ton of shows at the World Series. Yeah. I've been doing the show for about three years now on yeah. KLAV 1230. 500-plus shows now? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations. Unbelievable. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. I watched a couple of those. I watched the one with Gavin. That was fun. Well, that was something else. That was an outrageous show. You see but what happens when you let a Canadian run amok? Yes. We are uh, muck runners. Yes, yes, it was. It was that that video was something else. Those are up on YouTube if you want to check them out. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hoke, just punch in Mark Hoke, you'll find them all. Um, and of course, podcasts, iTunes or MarkHokeShow.podbean.com. Wednesdays at three p.m. KLAV twelve thirty a.m. KLAV twelve thirty a.m. dot com. So you don't have to be in Las Vegas listening to the show. You can listen whenever. That's, that's fantastic. I'm gonna start listening to you all the time. You now. should. Yeah. You know, James Woods listens to my show. I couldn't believe that that's when he awesome. told me that. I played with him one time at the LAPC. He's a great fun. guy. That's great. It's fun. You know, that's a great thing about playing this in, in this industry and with the celebrities and, the, and, and just the characters and the personalities. You know, there's so many great, great people in this industry. Yes. A few not so great ones, too, and we run into those. But We uh, do. You know, but, uh, um, you know, I'm just... Uh, I've, I've, Put a lot of uh, put a lot into this industry, and I uh, and, and when I get the comments and the feedbacks I do from 98 percent of the players, I uh, you know it makes it uh, makes it worthwhile. And it's been a, it's been a tough sled this uh, you know this uh, with the industry the way it's shaken out and that, but uh, I really see some tremendous momentum for, for what we're doing in Canada, and uh, uh, you know we're working uh, some big news is we're working on launching our own television channel. Nice. Yeah, it's a big wow. One. We've uh, been able to take the next step with the CRTC, which is the government governing body in Canada, that handles uh, television and telecommunications, and uh, so uh, you know, some big things could be coming up in that direction. So, so now we got to turn you into a television star. Oh, I better start working out. Okay. This camera makes me look so fat; it's not even funny. Oh, I know you. Uh, like I'm sitting beside. I'm looking on my laptop. And that ain't me. And you're skinny. You're skinny. No, you're I'm not skinny. skinny. You're <laughs> skinny. I am not I skinny. I think that camera. That camera adds 20 pounds. It definitely adds 20 yeah. pounds. Yeah. I don't need the, I I don't need the 20 like, pounds added. I think we got like three cameras on us, though. So. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I'll tell you what, hey, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I think we'll wrap it up here for our afternoon show. Uh, once again, we're going to be back tonight, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Yes, sir. So, uh, so Kelly and I will be back here doing our thing, and we'll have all sorts of great guests for you. A little more update on uh, as we go through the high roller, and we will get to enjoy the beginning. Of the Pot Limit Omaha tournament, which yeah. should be outrageous. Oh my God, I'm waiting for the I'm yeah. waiting for the open seat calls. Yeah, floor oh, should be entertaining. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Well, first uh, four levels, uh, four 30 minute levels of uh, re-entries, so uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be crazy. That'll be perfect. Just go right through the show. All right, so guys, we'll see you tonight. Thank you for joining us, and we will catch you later on this evening. Um, did, I, did I did I say six or six thirty? By the way, uh, I think you said six. I did six, so I said six, so we'll go with six. I'm good at six. All right, so we'll go, see. You going to go for the buffet before? Uh, we might. Okay, that's primary buffet, I think, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. down. All right, so we'll see you guys tonight. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll catch you later on this evening here on the Mark Hoke Show, live from the Canadian Poker Tour Summer Showdown, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So catch you later this evening. Have a good one. <laughs>